Registering for my Audi account is very, very simple. Now, the best thing to do is to, just to Google my Audi. It'll be the first link at the top of the page, and you'll be redirected to this. If you've got an existing account that a salesperson or a service uh, executive has uh, provided to you, then please feel free to press login. But if you do need to make yourself a, an account, please press register. Once you press register, it'll ask you to fill some details in and hit send, and that will, will create your account. You'll then receive an email from them just to confirm some extra information, such as uh, address and things like that. Um, and once you've done that, you'll be able to add your car, which I'll show you how to do now. So to add a vehicle into your My Audi account, once you have logged in or registered your um, details, you'll then be presented with this page. You'll be able to set up your Audi partner, obviously Guildford Audi, as that is who we are. Um, please do feel free to set this uh, as your local dealership, as this is to do with your servicing. Now, if we press this Add Vehicle button here, this is going to ask for your vehicle identification number. This is also known as your VIN. This will be on any of the information that you've been given from Audi, probably your order form um, or within the vehicle handbook. Please do uh, check on the car. If you do not have any of this paperwork to hand, it is on the windscreen near the bottom. Now, we are able to add our vehicle uh, identification number into here, as well as the security string down at the bottom. And by pressing Add Vehicle, this will add this vehicle to our My Audi account. This allows us to then confirm you as a key user, which I'll show you how to do now, and then allow you to use all of the features from My Audi. So we've added the vehicle into your My Audi account. Now, what we need to do is just to make sure and to confirm that you are a key user. If you have had your account previously set up by someone at the dealership, it's a possibility this is already done for you. Now, the best way to check is by pressing your name at the top here and scrolling down to account. Within account, you can press agreements and you can see that my account has been verified here. If it says that you are not verified or you haven't yet completed the verification, from this start page here, there should be a little sign just above the My Audi here that says, please start your verification process. Now, this is going to ask you to confirm, again, your details, your address, your mobile number. It'll then send you a text message. The text message will have a code. You enter the code into the Audi website here, and therefore, you will um, be confirmed. And by going back into account, you'll be able to see that your agreement here is confirmed. Now, the full T's and C's for the agreement will be emailed to yourself as well. So you are, please do feel free to have a read. And if you need to do anything regarding your PIN, uh, if you need to change it or update it, you can here. So at this point, we should have our vehicle added, and we now should be a key user. So I'm just going to show you how to log in via the My Audi app. So I've shown you how to do it on the internet. The login procedure through the app is slightly different. We can see we have the app running in the background here. We're just going to press login. Now it's going to ask us for our email address, which we will put in now. It'll then ask us for our password as well. Now put in the password that you set up previously. Okay, once that's in, select stay logged in. That's gonna log the phone into the My Audi app. You can ask, it will ask you if you'd like to save the password. This is old personal preference. So for this case, we're not going to allow and we're not gonna save the password. It's then gonna ask us to set up so it's going to allow us to ask location services. So this is going to be for when your vehicle um, is parked up. So it'll allow while using the app. Having contacts, this is for syncing over your contact library into your vehicle. It's up to you. We're going to do this later. Same with Calada. And the same with push notifications. You are able to um, let Audi collect some data from you to help improve the app. It's up to you again whether you like to do it. For this, we're not going to allow it. So you can see now, this is the vehicle that we entered earlier. The My Audi pin here is for what we, is what we use to log into the vehicle. This is how we will confirm the account and how we will get you logged in to the, your car. What we'll do is we'll move into the vehicle now and I'll show you how to do it. So that we're on the main menu, we scroll down to Audi Connect. Now on the Audi Q7 you have a touchpad and on the touchpad on the left and right you have two buttons. You'll be pressing the right hand button or using the scroll wheel like a joystick to push it to the right. 
We then press login here. You'll see that it'll ask for either your username and password. That's if you wish to in, uh, log in via your email and uh, password that you set up earlier. You can also use your alternative pin entry, which is the one I've just shown you. So what you do is you enter the pin into the vehicle. So once the pin's entered into the vehicle, we're going to go down and press OK. What this is going to do is check the login details and make sure you, you, you log in. So you can see here that I've just been accepted into the car. You can store any of the information if you like, so you can store the login details for future, uh, for future times, or you can um, leave it as this so you log in each time. So we're just going to press OK now, and this logs us into my Audi. So we're in our Audi Connect main menu. What we will be doing is using this plastic tag, which was supplied with your vehicle. Now on the other side of this, it houses a security code. I'm obviously not going to show you that for security purposes. What we'll do is go to Connect User Management. It is one of the top options. We're going to display the remote access authorization. And as you can see that there is none set currently. We're going to go into this and set us as a primary user. As remember, we've just logged in so the car already knows who we are. You can see we've got my email address there. And what we're going to do is enter in the vehicle code. So this is the one on the plastic tag. You do have to scratch off a security seal. Make sure you scratch that off and the code will be behind it. You can hit OK and then we're going to hit Login. So once logged in, it will give you this option to say that you are now the primary user within the vehicle. This is going to allow you to use all of the great features on the vehicle via the smartphone app, which I will show you how to use now. That we've got the phone connected you can see that we have all of our information on the mobile app and this is the same if you were to access it via the website you can see that we've got our total range this is how much fuel that is left in the tank and how much we rec we reckon's left the mileage is how many miles or kilometers that the vehicle has done you can have it in kilometers or miles you can just change it in the settings we've got a few vehicle status features so this is to do with whether the vehicle is unlocked or locked um so on and so forth we can see uh, inspection and oil change, how much is left for your AdBlue, oil level, a few warnings. So this is just to let us know that we've not got much fuel in the left in the vehicle. You can unlock and lock the vehicle via your app, which is very handy. And you do have a history of when it was unlocked and locked. Any theft, lo lo theft or location. Um, so if your vehicle alarm goes off, it will go into here. Okay. And then your Audi partner down at the bottom, which is obviously Guildford Audi. If you want to call them, you just press the call button there. You can have a cost tracker as well as a mileage tracker if you're using the vehicle for work or whether you just like to track your mileage. You can see there's a lot of features available on the app, um, which is very, very handy for quite a lot of situations and a lot of people. Now, the process of logging in is slightly different with on, on the new A6, A7 and A8, and as well as the Q3 and A1. But it is very, very similar. I will do a video separate to this one on how to log those in. So please do feel free to ask for that if you need it. Thank you very much for your time today. And I hope you have um, been able to sign into your My Audi. Any questions, please do let us know. Thank you very much and goodbye.